Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. Blizzard have announced a load of new cool stuff coming to Overwatch early next year and throughout the year. Now, some of it's really awesome, like new maps, new heroes, some specifics, but also very vague in places. But what I want you guys to let me know in the comments is what maps or game modes would you like to see? And what heroes would you like to see? But I'm going to start from the start. And something that I thought was interesting and also very cool that Blizzard have done is that Anna and Sombra were released this year as two extra heroes to the game. Now, Anna came out and initially some people thought she was OP and others didn't. And it actually took a couple of months or so for people to master her and realize how good she was. And then she was top of the meta and super strong and they've been trying to balance her out since then. Now, this has always been controversial with Anna, whether she's should be changed or kept the same or reverted back but it's actually the reason they haven't touched Sombra yet is that even though a lot of people are convinced Sombra isn't good enough even though she can get some uses at some levels of play they don't want to do what they did with Anna they don't want to buff Sombra and it turns out actually she's really really good now I'm a firm believer that Sombra actually doesn't have that kind of utility that Anna ever had but I think it's really cool that they're not jumping to conclusions and they're waiting on the feedback from the community before they actually change Sombra in any way. They said that they've also got ways that they would like to change her, whether that be hack through barriers, do more damage, we don't know. But they're definitely looking at it and hopefully she'll be changed sometime early next year if we don't see her used more often. Because personally, I would love to see her be in the game and I just think the game all around is more healthy when all the heroes are more viable. Now the first thing that's coming in the new year Year, and by the sounds of it it's right at the new year is actually going to be the new map oasis which you can now test on the ptr it's a current game mode map so it's king of the hill or control i personally do like these maps some people don't i haven't tested it a lot on the ptr though and it is going to be on track so early in the year is when that will be coming out also they've said that seasonal events are something that they love doing they've actually got loads planned some of them are predictable so i would say like easter for example but they're actually going to be some that we're not expecting. So I'm looking forward to that. Of course, we don't know what they are. Now, something small that they're working on, but I think is very interesting, is they're going to be changing your emotes and your sprays and how they work in the game. Currently, you bring up the wheel, and that will just allow you to make a voice line, say thank you, say hello. They're going to let you customize this. One thing they're definitely doing is the emotes, the voice lines, and the sprays. You can have four of each on. Now, you can only do one at a time, but you still then have that option to do different ones within the game. This is just a nice little cute add-on that I personally really, really like. And whether you can customize different things like thank you, that would be awesome. So it'd be awesome if they had on the wheel, if you could customize it. So he said, please, Genji main, please swap this 16 tanks on the other team, please. If that was one on the wheel too, that would be cool. Now, that isn't announced, but I think it would be nice to see that come sometime down the line too. And it's good to know that they're also working on these little things as well as the bigger ones. Now, the next thing, again, is small but very, very important. And that is actually people being forced into team chat. Now, Blizzard don't want to force people to talk as some people simply don't want to or they don't like it or they're socially awkward or for whatever reason could be personal or they simply don't have that microphone. But they don't want to force people into it. However, if people are in a team and they join a game and there's some solo queues in there, it's a bit mixed up. They do want it to strongly suggest that you join the team chat. So that's another feature that will be coming soon and I'm hoping it does force people to do that a little bit more. I definitely realise when I play NA lobbies that people in America are a lot more likely to talk in EU simply because of language barrier. Now, they can never fix that in the game, but maybe we'll just get a few more people talking in our lobbies to hopefully be able to win some more games more often. So now to the meaty part. This is what I found very, very interesting. It sounds like they are working on many heroes within the game. And now there isn't a number, but I would say that they don't have a specific number of heroes that they definitely want to do or don't do. I would say they work on them as they go. That seems to be what is implied. There's one hero that's very promising. It's moving on to the what he called the art pipeline. So they're going to be going through designing the character properly. I would assume. I'm guessing the abilities are very, very good too. Now, this is where you guys come in in the comments. What hero would you 
personally like to see. Now, I know Eddie that is also running this channel with me, he wants to see some kind of a recon hero. So someone that's more based around getting information somehow about the enemy team on what they're running and maybe being a little bit of a disruptor. Hopefully not too much like Sombra. And as I've already mentioned, I'd like Sombra to be more of that disruptor hero. But that's what Eddie would like to see. Personally, I'm hoping for someone like Doomfist. I would like another tank in the game. Now, tanks are dominating right now, but that doesn't mean we don't need more of them. You know, the meta changes all the time and it won't always be triple tank. Personally, in terms of abilities, I'd like to see someone else that has some kind of speed boost so that Lucio isn't the only one that can do that. Someone that can maybe deny healing like Anna's Nade, just so we have more balance, variety and things to pick within the game. But as I say, I'd love to read through your comments on what you exactly would like to see in terms of a hero, their concepts and what abilities they would have. Now, I've mentioned that there's a new map coming out, but they're actually going to be trying to bring out a bunch of maps too. So they're working on multiple, multiple heroes. Some of them them will make the game some of them won't some of them will be on the back burner like Genji was for a long time he was never necessarily going to be a hero it took him a year and a half of prototyping etc stopping and then prototyping again different things so the maps are also going through a similar phase one thing that I personally didn't like so much is there is another new map coming out, but it is a current game mode. Now, what I find more interesting is that they are planning on doing some other game modes and they may even test them in arcade modes so that then if they're very good, then they will move on to competitive. So new game modes are something that they want to do. Personally, I would like to see a capture the flag. Again, controversial in the community. Some people don't agree, but Blizzard are awesome and I'm hoping that they can come up with something very, very nice. Now, there's something that I think is very interesting when it comes to Blizzard and Overwatch and a game and as a community. And that is they're talking about making it. So when you make a custom game, so there's loads of options, more health, less health, change the points a little bit, the amount of points you get, change the shields. You can do all of that already in custom games, but you can only do it with your friends. They actually are working on making a server browser so that you can find custom servers with all these different settings, game modes and rules, which is very very cool within itself but close to this and hopefully the next step and something we've been asking for since nearly release could be mod tools it wasn't mentioned by blizzard it wasn't in the video but i would absolutely love to see what the community can do with this game the great things that they can make and not only is it just the community can make them that takes it off of blizzard's back to do everything and then the community can come up with a great concept and then blizzard can polish it and put it in the game the server browser allows us to test these ideas and then Blizzard can polish them off and put them in the game, which is just incredible. That's how games flourish. That is something that nearly all successful games have is mod tools. And another thing is a theater mode where you can go back and watch your VODs and your games to improve or to teach people or simply show off to your friends. Them features are the ones that I think we should hope to see are not announced apart from server browser, which is announced, but I would love to see more of that stuff in the future. Uh, the next thing and the last thing really is they're working on spectator modes for competitive. There's a lot of competitive stuff in the works. Now they didn't say anything about Overwatch League so they're obviously taking their time with that so they can bring out the best thing possible. Personally in terms of competitive I hope they get it done well but I hope they get it done soon too. We don't want it rushed. We want it to be good but it needs to come out so this game can take off in competitive because that really is where the longevity in online gaming is nowadays and that's what we should hope to see from them hopefully by mid next year that's that's what i would guess and that's my hope for the game because i think it would be very very good so guys, let us know what you think in the comment section down below about anything I spoke about. There is some other information and I will link their video in the description so you go through and watch it. I just went for the meteor stuff and I wanted to elaborate on some of it and also show that my hopes for the game and where I want to see it within the next year. Let us know in the comment section, guys, what you think. Thank you for the support this year. It's been amazing and we're just going to keep loving Blizzard, loving this game, even if sometimes the things are controversial. We really want it to be in the best place possible. So let us know what you think. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.